Microsoft SharePoint Online, the SharePoint user roles, owners, designers, editors, contributors, and readers. When you're invited to a SharePoint site, you'll have access to different lists and libraries, documents, and items. And this is based on your role in relationship to the particular page or site. There are five primary roles in SharePoint, and here's the hierarchy. The first role is Owner. An owner has full control of a site, list, or library, and they can do anything with it that they want, hence Owner. Then there are Designers, and their permissions are a little bit more limited, but they can view, update, of course customize the things that they're given as a designer, approve, add, and delete. Then there's Editor. They have permission to work with items found in a site. They can delete, but they can't customize the site's design. A contributor has even more limited permissions. Contributors only have permission to work with specific items. They can't customize design, and they can only delete items that they create. Finally, we have members of a site with a reader role. They basically have the ability to look at items. Sometimes they have the ability to download a document, edit it, but if they want to save it, they'll need to save it locally on their computer. In SharePoint, roles can be established at the highest level, which is what's called a site collection. A site collection is a collection of sites in one container, usually administered by the same person or sometimes a group of people. Sometimes with overlap, we can have a set of roles assigned at the site collection level, at the team site level, or roles based on specific apps within a site. So what that means is that you could have lots of permissions on one site, no permissions on another, and pretty much anything in between, depending on the need. When you create a site in SharePoint, you need to determine what user roles are after you've established the roles that are available. Then, you'll assign specific groups of people permissions to the creations. Your role can differ from site to site, and then within a site, from one library, list, etc. And that's Microsoft SharePoint 2013, SharePoint Roles Explained.